Hello again, my crafty friends, and welcome back to my series. So you only have 10 minutes. This is the second part where I'm going to be finishing matting the separate pieces. This piece and this piece here. I've already placed the, the embossed pieces. I embossed with my rose folder. And I've got these three done. And so let's continue. Now for these pieces, after I mat them, I'm going to be using the washi tape on the corners. I, uh, I am going to be using my score tape. And let's get started. Ten minutes on the clock. do have this big roll of score tape that works just as well the Tombow glue that I used lasted a very long time I've used it I used it to make the 20 cards that I featured in my flower market set. 21 cards, actually. So, I cannot complain. And I used it before that, of course, in a couple more sets of cards. So, it's lasted a long time. So, I can't complain a bit. This stuff is going to be stubborn, I can tell right now. I think I'll just... I overlap this, which was not smart. Okay. right in the center okay I'm gonna I put this glue upside down to see if I could get it to come out more so let's work on that nope. there we go okay got two kinds of glue here. I've got this one also, the aqua. Neither one of them have a lot in there now, so I'll be switching back and forth. Okay, so there's that one. Now, as Alicia said, 
This is just a springboard for us to work off of the sketch. And she's got the measurements and everything just so. And I don't like to mess with measurements because I tend to mess that up. That's just, that's why I cut the paper off camera because I always, I have inevitably run into issues. But you can cut them bigger, smaller, whatever, just different size mats. Or you could also emboss this mat also, the little one. You kind of make it your own, like she says. Okay, one more. Now I'll show you what I'm gonna do with the washi tape. On the purple, the plum colored pattern paper. Okay. All right, let's take the big pieces here. Put them in, put it in the corner. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to do another one on the other side. Kind of an approximate between this side and this side. It's not going to be perfect. It's not Hallmark, it's homemade. There's that one. Just give it a little extra pizzazz, I think. start putting them on the cards. Okay. I think I'll go ahead and do that here too. put it on the other side. Yeah, like that. Okay, there we go. All right, let's start putting on. Ooh, less than a minute. Okay. 
We're doing just this mat first, the three by three piece, because I'm gonna be putting the sentiment down first before I cover it with this piece. Kind of like so. I'll show you. Kind of like so. All right, there's our time. Okay. So we did. Okay. So we did finish creating these. I'll give you a look, see what that's going to look like. And you can position them any way you want. Pretty much. You can put it down here. You can put that's how it's going to look. And then next time I will be popping this side up with mini dimensionals because because of the thickness here. All right. So that's what we got done in this round of 10 minutes. We will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.